Hello, welcome to Eleanor's Soap. I'm Ellen. I'm going to use French White Shimmer Mica from Crafter's Choice. Use Sleigh Ride from Brambleberry. And oh man, this smells good. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Look it up on Brambleberry. Uh, it's got kind of a pine, sort of a citrus. It's just bright and um, it really does. It smells like outdoor, fresh, crisp winter air to me. So, this is, uh, you guys, if you follow me at all, you know that I am not a hand drawing artist by any stretch of the imagination. Really, really rough sketch. And I grew up in Wisconsin, lots of snow. It grew up in the woods, 40 acres of woods, uh, way up in northern Wisconsin, um, near Lake Superior. So I'm gonna do a snowy hill mountain. I'm gonna make a little tree with some red dot. I'll show you what I'm gonna do for embeds on that and a blue sky and some soap piping frosting. I'm gonna put some glitter all over the top of that and make it sparkle shine. So for my tree embed, this is rather hilarious looking. I hope it comes out. I have it in my mind. These wiggle worms, pretty impressive, huh? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> the way I'm gonna approach this is I'll pour my mountain, start pouring my sky, and I'm going to lay these in the mold so you'll see them the long way and then in between i'll put the little red dots for like little you know berry dots on my trees hopefully when we slice into the so it doesn't make sense as i'm describing it it's in my head and you'll watch me go through the process but um hopefully when i make the slice in the bar it'll have layers of tree going up we'll see it's all in my head this is going to be fun it's either going to be a colossal you know, fail and be hilarious, or it'll turn out really pretty, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna gather all my ingredients together. Oh, and for my milk, I'm gonna use buttermilk, just cause I have a whole bunch of it in my freezer. I've been making butter like crazy, and so I have a lot of buttermilk. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe, and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook if you want more up-to-date soaping pictures and inspiration and what I'm up to in the soap studio. Go check that out too, thank um, you. So to my oils, I have my oils and butters all melted and cooled in here. I have um, some buttermilk powder and some kale and clay. And then my lye solution here is organic raw buttermilk from my farm, a little tuss of silk fibers, and I put in a little bit of titanium dioxide to kind of knock down the yellow in there because I want this, you know, very white and snowy colored. So I wanted to show you the colors that I'm going to use for my sky portion because they're so pretty. This one is Proud Peacock from Nurture Soap and it is, it's just a stunning blue. And then this one from Nurture Soap is Belize Blue Mica. And uh, so I'm going to do two different color blue swirls and just some uncolored for my sky. And for my little snowy mountain, again, I have my Crafter's Choice White Shimmer. So this is gonna be part of my shimmer. And I also have some of my Bio Glitter Shimmer that I'm gonna put on the top. I've got my little wiggle worms over here that, I don't know, it's in my head how it's gonna come out. We will see how this comes out. I'm so anxious and nervous to try this. But anyway, I'm gonna get my gloves on and we'll go ahead and get the lye mixed in here and start splitting off and get to layering up this soap and i'm really hoping it turns out cute if it's wonky then it'll just be some uh, good soap for my family to use and, oh yes and i have just a little cappuccino mica in here um, when i get the soap batter ready i'm just going to pour a little to drizzle down for my tree trunk and i'm going to hand stir uh, till we get incorporated and then split off so that hopefully i will have a little time to work um, I do have my fragrance already in here, my wonderful sleigh ride fragrance from Brambleberry. So here is our luscious buttermilk. Just get this stirred in and I'm gonna split this off here for my sky portion and I'll just keep what's left in here from my little snowy mountain and add my um, my sparkle shimmer French white. It's so pretty. I hope the sparkly shimmers, I know a lot of times in cold process that shimmery doesn't come through. I'm hoping it does, but I have my bio glitter to shimmer. Let me see, I think that should be good. So let me put in a nice big plop of that beautiful color. And I'm gonna stick blend this because um, 
okay if it gets nice and firmed up for our little bottom snowy layer. I'm going to add just a touch of titanium dioxide and water in here just to um, brighten it up a little. There we go. That's looking a little better. It's still a very creamy color. So we'll have cream color snow. That'll be all right. <laughs> Mold over here. And go ahead and pour in our bottom layer here. And then I'm going to let this set up for just a few minutes and kind of texture it and mush it up to one side so it'll look like a little hillside. I'm just going to set that off to the side to firm up. We will come back here with our pretty blue colors. Okay, I've got my soap frosting going here. I'm going to add a little fragrance to that too because I want this to, I want the whole thing to smell pretty. I'm going to get that blended in and let this thicken up to piping consistency. Um, and to my frosting, I did add a little, um, probably a teaspoon of my shimmer white mica and about a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide just to make it nice and bright.
right, time to unmold. Very curious to see how that turns out there. <laughs> oh my goodness, this could be a total fail or it could be kind of cool. We shall see. All right, let me cut off a little end piece here. <laughs> it just looks like random dots, oh my word. Okay, let's see if it gets any more cohesive as we go. Yeah, that totally doesn't look like a tree at all. It just looks like a random little burst. It's kind of cute though, but uh, yeah, not what I was going for. It's like the uh, esoteric Picasso tree. Still, the colors are pretty. They really are. These are just funky. Totally gonna have to do this again.